Assalamu alaikum my dear students this is Bhakti Harusen and I'm here to deliver a lecture on blood part 2 now in this particular session my main focus will be on talking about the different types of WBC cells now WBC, RBC, platelets we already studied in the previous lecture in the previous session that they actually indicate the composition they comprise the composition of the blood now among these three types of the cells there is one that is the WBC and the WBC types it's really important studying these types of WBC cell for the need and for the aims now firstly and foremostly the first type is granulocytes now what about the granulocytes pichle session mein pichle video mein maine already kaha tha ki jo granulocytes hai unka jo basically cytoplasm hota hai it's filled with the grain like deposition now in this granulocyte there are basically three further types the first one is neutrophil another one is eosinophil and the third one is basophil so these three types of WBC which are actually the subtypes of granulocytes have to be studied now firstly and foremostly we talk about the neutrophil neutrophil cell jo hoti hai iske baare mein kuch khas points hai iska sabse pehra point hai jata hai ki tamam wbc cells mein se sabse fastest wbc cell it is the neutrophil that is the reason it is the first wbc cell to reach the site of the infection in comparison to other types of wbc cell it is the most numerous tamam wbc cells mein se agar koi wbc cell hai jo sabse zyada tadad rakhti hai that is the neutrophil it's the most numerous it is the most mobile ठीक है ये सबसे पहले पहुंचती है एट द साइट ऑफ इन्फेक्शन उसके बाद इसके बारे में जो एक और पॉइंट है वो ये है कि जो इसका न्यूक्लियस होता है इट्स हैविंग वेरिंग शेप्स फर्स्टली इनिशियली वी टॉक अबाउट द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द न्यूट्रोफिन इट्स मल्टी लोब्ड न्यूक्लियस नव वो टू वी अंडरस्टैंड विद द मल्टी लोब न्यूक्लियस इसका मतलब ये है कि जो इसका न्यूक्लियस है उसमें राउंडेड स्वेलिंग्स है नाउ दीज राउंडेड स्वेलिंग्स कैन बी टू these rounded swellings can be three ultimately the point is the nucleus of the neutrophil it varies in the shape it varies in the morphology somewhere there are two rounded swellings and somewhere there are three rounded swellings that is why that is why the neutrophil has the another name that is the pmnl now what does this pmnl stand for p stands for poly jiska matlab hota hai many bahut sare M stands for morpho. Morpho का मतलब होता है appearance. N stands for nuclear. Nuclear refers to nucleus. And L stands for the leukocytes. That is what we are studying. Neutrophils are indeed the leukocytes. ठीक है? So neutrophils उनका एक और नाम आ जाता है PMNL. And what does the PMNL stand for? PMNL stands for polymorpho nuclear leukocytes which actually indicate that कि जो ये neutrophils है इनका जो nucleus है इसकी shape vary करती है now we are done with the point of PMNL we are done with the point of most numerous we are done with the point of multi-lobe nucleus now this thing remains diapetesis diapetesis has been asked in AIMS this particular term diapetesis what does it mean it's actually uh, a name for the movement of the neutrophils. Neutrophils, when they pass through narrow blood capillaries, they actually show a squeezing type of movement. So neutrophils in particular, when they pass through narrow and very thin blood vessels, ke through, they show a squeezing type of movement. This kind of movement is called as the diapetesis. And diapetesis is actually a characteristic feature of neutrophils. We done with this as well. Now we talk about the eosinophil. What about the eosinophil? This particular eosinophil, it's related with the allergic reactions. Body mein jo bhi allergic reactions hoti hai, uh, it has something of involvement with the eosinophils. Eosinophils, uh, when we talk about its nucleus, initially we talked about the nucleus of the neutrophil, which was multi-lobed. Then we talk about the nucleus of the eosinophil. It is bilobed. It's having two rounded swellings. Now, if we talk about uh, its further function, eosinophil, they are actually bactericide and anti-parasitic in function. Now, whenever there is the parasitic function, now whenever the bacteria are involved in infecting a person, these cells, eosinophils, they play a role. 
but their main and primary role is in the allergic reactions. Now, we move on to the basophil. What about the basophil? It is being said that uh, basophil, first of all, it's very, very important. WBC cell, almost all of them are important. But when you talk about the basophil, it's got wide function. It actually secretes three kinds of chemicals. Firstly, that is the heparin. Heparin, if we talk in uh, simple words, heparin is a blood thinning substance. It's actually against the blood clotting. It works against the blood clotting, this particular heparin. Then we talk about another thing that is the histamine. So basophil, they secrete heparin. They secrete histamine and what is the histamine histamine is actually a special chemical it's involved in the inflammatory responses so whenever uh, a person's or a human's body it's particularly tissue when it suffers with damage so body responds this kind of response is called as inflammation which is characterized by pain redness and swelling so these responses which is characterized by pain, redness, swelling, they are actually called as inflammatory responses. And inflammatory responses uh, provide karna, usme involve hona, it is being done by the histamine. So histamine, which is produced by the basophil hmm, along with the heparin. So next thing we move on to the third thing that is the serotonin. So basophil produces three kinds of substances. First one, histamine. Second one, that is the heparin. And the third one, it is the serotonin. What about the serotonin? Serotonin actually here, it uh, helps in the capillary dilation. So blood capillaries, jo hai, they have to be dilated. They have to be expanded so as to allow the movement of WBC cells very efficiently, very smoothly. It is being done by the serotonin. So when we talk about these three types of cells, granulocytes, it's having the neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil. Neutrophil is multi-lobed nucleus. We talked about the eosinophil, is bilobed nucleus. Then we talked about the basophil, it's having the S-shaped nucleus. Okay? And its characteristics already defined. So eosinophil, we're done with this point related with the allergic reactions. Eosinophil having bilobed nucleus, we're done with this point. Eosinophil bactericidal, antiparasitic in function. We're done with this point as well. Now, basophil, it secretes three substances. Firstly, it is the heparin. We're done with that. Histamine, we're done with that. Serotonin, we're done with that. Okay? Then we talk about the A granulocytes. What about the A granulocytes? They are basically those type of WBC cells which are not having which are not having the grain-like deposition in their cytoplasm. In my grain, jaisi deposition cytoplasm mein nahi hoti. So, agrinocytes jo hote hain, iske do kisim aajate hain. First is the monocyte. And next one is the lymphocyte. Now, if we talk about the monocyte, monocyte is the largest WBC cell. Monocytes jo hote hain, they circulate in the body fluids for up to about 8 hours. They circulate they absorb, they acquire the materials so as to grow and they ultimately become the macrophages. Okay? Macrophages, hote hai, unka source is hai monocytes. Monocytes se hi banta hai macrophage. Apart from forming the macrophages, what is its function? Basically, if we talk about a point here, monocytes are called as main scavengers of the body. So they are actually involved in removing dead substances, dead particles, anything related with the waste. They are involved with that. They are involved with the cleaning apart from protecting. Okay? So next point about the monocyte is they are having the bean shaped nucleus. So nucleus ka comparison zururi karna hai. Because nucleus ke comparison pe bohu sare sawaal hai. So neutrophil, multi-lobed nucleus. Eosinophil, bilobed nucleus. Basophil, it's having S-shaped nucleus. And then we talked about the monocyte. It's having bean-shaped nucleus. Now we move on to the another type. That's the lymphocytes. Because we are done with monocyte. Forms macrophages. Done with that. Bean-shaped nucleus. Done with that. Now this particular lymphocyte. Lymphocyte basically, it's having a rounded nucleus. It's a very simple cell if we talk about this. So it's having a rounded nucleus. Lymphocytes are basically having two types. One is the B lymphocyte, another one is the T lymphocyte. Now, B lymphocyte, 
involved in the immunity T lymphocyte involved in the immunity but in different way B lymphocytes are actually they form cells which are called as plasma cells and these plasma cells later on form the antibodies okay on the antibodies I will provide a separate lecture now B lymphocyte they are the source of antibody and that is why their type of immunity is called as antibody mediated immunity or even called as antibody mediated immune system B lymphocytes they are actually the source of not direct source of antibodies but they are the source of antibodies they first of all produce plasma cells their plasma cells their descendants they form what they form the antibodies now B lymphocyte it provides AMIS that is antibody mediated immune system yeah antibody mediated immunity and it's having the another name it's also called as HI so B lymphocyte jo immunity provide karta hai, it's having another name that is the HI and HI refers to the humoral immunity okay now there is a T lymphocytes so T lymphocyte pe question ek aaya tha in the need and this particular question is related with the T lymphocyte now T lymphocyte provide a different kind of immunity they don't actually form the antibody themselves but yes they help in stimulation of the B lymphocyte and its descendants to form the antibodies B lymphocytes they form the antibodies T lymphocytes they stimulate the B lymphocytes to produce the antibodies T lymphocytes provide a special immunity which is called as CMI now what does the term CMI stand for cell mediated immunity now whenever a person receives an organ for donation okay na? a person usme koi organ hai, it's not working properly it's failing so fir us person ko jo organ donate kiya jata hai, it's called as graft and what actually happens in a majority of the times most often what happens that a person's body doesn't accept the foreign organ it works against the foreign organ okay na? it works against the foreign organ so what kind of immunity is responsible here immunity provided by the T lymphocytes so a person is receiving a foreign organ in the case of organ transplantation but the person's body the patient's body it's working against okay? it's working against this organ it's not accepting this foreign organ it's not accepting this graft so this kind of uh, phenomenon is simply called as graft rejection and graft rejection ke liye primarily kone si kism ki immunity responsible hai it is the T lymphocyte immunity it is the CMI and CMI stands for cell mediated immunity now in this session na, we summarized different types of WBC cell we talked about different types of WBC cell their characteristics I hope everything is clear and I hope everything is being uh, made clear here okay, so stay home stay safe and stay connected